so you can see the four stations kind of in the same arrangement as a Electrify America site. This is 96, so we'll go there and then we'll try and plug in here. Stiff cables, but they reach the car just fine. You've got a welcome screen, a connect start, you've got your payment reader here. 38 cents a kilowatt hour is the 35 cents a kilowatt hour charge and tax. And let's see. Start with the phone, use your phone to it. So, we'll do that. Connector one, begin charge. Looks like it connected just fine. Communicating with the car. Okay, fired up right away, no problems. Let's see what we're getting. Not too bad given the temperature. Did have a little drive here, so it's uh, probably warmed up the battery a little bit and we're not super cold as you can see. So all in all, that's all right. That may well creep up, but these are fairly clear. It's an ABB station. Uh, there was no messing around there. That was just the app. It's not quite as smooth as maybe an Electrify America, which is just the swipe to charge, or the charge point, which remains the easiest of just tapping the phone. Although this does have the RFID card that you can use if you've got one of those. But easy enough, just jump in the app, find the right station, which the station numbers are on the top, just like with most uh, Electrify Americas now. And um, you're off to the races. So the Evolve New York network has continued to grow over the last year and a bit. Um, not necessarily as fast as they would have liked. It's certainly been hit by certain planning permission issues, uh, the pandemic, supply chain perhaps. There's a bunch of uh, kind of limiting factors in the mix here. But, you know, bottom line, they have got stations in the ground. This one has been up, as we say, for over a year now. Uh, our visit was pre-branding when it was still kind of a free, fresh in the ground site. And uh, since then, they finished up the free charging around this time last year, moved to the paid model, had a few hiccups. There were certainly some uh, payment reader glitches, as we know from Electrify America. That can be a, a weak point of some of these units. Um, they had certain issues. I know some of the viewers have been to this site and had some problems with uh, individual models or trying to get full power. But now it does seem to be up and running. Uh, there is a plus nine rating on plug share, as I say, and everything looks uh, good here. It looks like the equipment has been well maintained. It's still kind of fresh. Obviously, a year isn't a long, long time, but certainly we have seen sites that have been more dinged up than this one. Thinking specifically Chicopee in Massachusetts for Electrify America. And these are ABB stations. They've done fine as well by the looks of it. And the power is still there. So in terms of this site, very good. Um, the build out has not been as quick as they would have hoped. We now have, I think it was 11 uh, open sites at last count. Whereas I think they were hoping to be much closer to uh, 20, 25 and above. Um, but they have covered the state quite well. The only lacking areas really now are um, the Southern Tier and Western New York. There's nothing west of Rochester, where the site is Fairport, New York. And uh, down on the Southern Tier, there's still a bunch of sites uh, that we hoped would go in that haven't uh, come up yet. So those areas are to fill in. But in terms of covering the throughway, there's a lot of nice options there. The Adirondacks, where there would be no other options we've seen on the uh, trip we did, which I'll put up in the corner here. You do have uh, the advantage of state level networks in knowing their local areas, knowing the places that need to be prioritized. And with Electrify America having kind of covered that New York Thruway area, albeit with their own hiccups, you know, from the last year or two, um, 
they they have that part covered and Evolve New York has kind of put these sites where people really needed them across the state. So in Watertown, New York, where there was very little north-south support uh, going up to the, the border with Canada, they've put that in. So that's a good gateway for, uh, for the Adirondacks and uh, three distinct sites around Syracuse serving each of those east-west, north-south routes. So uh, all that's good, but good and positive, you know, despite the fact that there have been delays in the network and they had some pretty aggressive um, goals initially, um, we have to kind of look at the, the positives and the fact that, you know, you're starting now to see travel around New York State much easier, started to see uh, a state-level network investing in the infrastructure, putting them in places where it's not quite as easy to travel in an electric vehicle. Um, this is all positive. So, you know, thumbs up for keeping this site and getting it to a place within a year. We've got these uh, locations going in in places where they otherwise would not have. And there's also coming a wave of uh, about five locations in downtown areas. So they just added one in uh, Amsterdam, New York, along the throughway. There's one in uh, Saratoga Springs. They're hitting Middletown, Oswego, areas of the state, which are, you know, not kind of key to the cross-country routes that maybe Electrify America will take some time to get to. Um, you see, start to see value in a lot of these state-level networks in New York providing something of a blueprint, albeit with some delays, uh, to get those gaps filled in and help EV adoption as a whole. So just a short one here and a good opportunity to catch up on Evolve New York as a network as we uh, come to a close at the end of the year. But if have you traveled on this network? Do you use it? Have you had problems in those early stages of the uh, sites going live? Have you used it seamlessly to travel around uh, the state? And uh, if this is further from you, uh, what would you like to see your state do? Is this something that you would approve of as far as uh, spending state money on this kind of network? Or are you of the opinion that that should be left to private entities like Electrify America, EVgo, ChargePoint, with uh, various site partners. How do you think these state level gaps where things maybe wouldn't be prioritized because they're not cross country key routes, uh, what do you think should happen there? Interested in your opinion as always. Uh, thanks for watching and talk to you soon. Okay, so we'll stop that via the car. 47 kilowatt hours. A bit slow due to the cold battery, but there you go. No problem. Okay, another solid charge on Evolve New York.